dear students in this video we are going to study the cube roots of unity see when we are talking about cube root of unity let x be the cube root of uh, unity uh, unity is equal to 1 right unity means 1 so we want to find out 1 to the power 1 by 3 that x is equal to 1 to the power 1 by 3 that means x cube is equal to 1 so we have the equation x cube minus 1 is equal to 0 obviously this is the cubic equation it is going to have three roots right and roots of this equation only are the cube roots of unity so if we factorize this by using the formula a cube minus b cube i think you know the formula for a cube minus b cube a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. So the factors of x cube minus 1 will be x minus 1 into x square plus x into 1 plus 1 square. So this is it. So this means that either x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So for x minus 1 is equal to 0, you, we get x is equal to 1. Now let's solve this second equation. Now this is the quadratic equation x square plus x plus 1. Let's compare this equation to the well known equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now comparing these two equations we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1. So now we know how to find out the roots of the quadratic equation by the formula. So roots are x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon twice a. Let's put all these values b is equal to 1, a is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1. So if we go on solving we get minus 1 plus minus under root of minus 3 upon 2. So we can write this under root of minus 3 as root 3i right. So that's why we can we get this equation as so this is equal to now minus 1 plus minus under root 3i upon 2 okay so cube roots of unity we got three roots now first is x is equal to 1 and then the other two are minus 1 plus root 3i upon 2 and minus 1 minus root 3i upon 2 okay so out of this as we can see these two are the complex cube roots okay and this is one real root. So out of the three cube roots of unity, one is the real root which is equal to 1 and the other two are minus 1 plus i root 3 upon 2 and minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2. If I write one of these roots as alpha and other root as beta, here we observe a very peculiar property that alpha square is equal to beta and beta square is equal to alpha. So what we do is we denote any of the roots by omega, okay any of the complex cube roots. So there are two complex cube roots. We will denote any one of them as omega and obviously the other will become omega square. Okay. Or we can denote this by like second root by omega and then this will become omega square. So we say that the complex cube roots of unity are 1 omega and omega square. So 1 omega and omega squares are uh, cube roots of unity. Now all of these three equations satisfies x cube minus 1 is equal to 0. Actually we have solved this equation and got these three roots. But if you remember, okay so obviously omega cube will be equal to 1, omega square cube is equal to 1. Now complex cube roots of unity, we have obtained these complex cube roots from the equation x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0, right? So complex cube roots of unity that is omega and omega square must satisfy this equation like along with this uh, x cube minus 1 is equal to 0. So if we put x is equal to omega we get the equation omega square plus omega plus 1 is equal to 0 and also we can get omega square square plus omega square plus 1 is equal to also 0. So if you carefully observe this is omega square plus omega plus 1 is equal to 0 this can be interpreted in other way also that is sum of the three, three cube roots which is 1 omega and omega square. So sum of these three roots is equal to 0. So sum of cube roots of unity is equal to 0. This is the one thing you can remember. Now here we know if omega cube is equal to 1 that is omega square into omega is equal to 1. So we have 1 upon omega square is equal to omega 
and 1 upon omega is equal to omega square. We can use these uh, things to solve many problems. Okay. So now powers of omega. Let's try to understand the different values of different powers of omega. Obviously, omega cube will be equal to 1 because omega is cube root of unity. So similarly, omega to the power multiple of 3. So omega raised to a power which is multiple of 3 will always be equal to 1. For example, omega to the power 345 is equal to 1 because 345 is multiple of 3. How can I find out that? You know, I think that 3 plus 4 plus 5, that is sum of digits of a number, uh, which is 12 in this case, is divisible by 3. Hence, 345 is divisible by 3. As 345 is multiple of 3, we have omega to the power 345 is equal to 1. Now, omega to the power 4. So, omega to the power 4 will be equal to omega cube into omega, but omega cube is equal to 1. So, omega to the power 4 is equal to omega. Similarly, for any power of the form 3n plus 1. So, omega to the power 3n plus 1 will be equal to omega. For example, omega to the power 37 is equal to omega because 37 is equal to 36 plus 1. Now, similarly, omega to the power 5 is equal to omega cube into omega square, right? Omega cube into omega square, that will be equal to omega square. So, if we have omega to the power 3n plus 2, okay, a number we, which gets remainder 2 after dividing by 3. So, omega to the power 3n plus 2 will have omega square. So, for example, omega to the power 14 will be equal to omega square because 14 is equal to 12 plus 2, where 12 is divisible by uh, 3. So, these are the three formulas you can remember. Whenever we have omega raised to the power which is multiple of 3, we have value 1. Whenever omega is raised to the power which is 1 more than the multiple of 3, that is 3n plus 1, then omega to the power 3n plus 1 will be equal to omega. And whenever omega is raised to the power of the form 3n plus 2, then it is equal to omega square. Now, note that sum of any three consecutive integers, integer powers of omega is equal to 0. So, example, omega to the power 100 plus omega to the power 101 plus omega to the power 102. Now, omega to the power 100, 100 is equal to 99 plus 1. So, it is of the form 3n plus 1. So, value of that will be equal to omega. Similarly, omega to the power 101, which is 99 plus 1, uh, sorry, 99 plus 2, which is of the form omega to the power 3n plus 2. So, this will have the value omega square. And the value of omega to the power 102, 102 is multiple of 3, so that value is 1. So, omega plus omega square plus 1, this value is equal to, but we know that omega plus omega square plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, so, sorry, so, so this is equal to 0. Okay, omega plus omega square plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, if omega is the complex cube root of unity, let's solve some questions. So, if omega is the complex cube root of unity, show that 2 minus omega, 2 minus omega square is equal to 7. How can we solve this? Now, solution is LHS is equal to 2 minus omega into 2 minus omega square. Let's multiply this bracket by bracket. So, 2 into 2 is equal to 4. 2 into minus omega square is minus 2 omega square. Now minus omega into 2 is equal to minus 2 omega and minus of minus plus omega cube. Now that is 4 minus 2 into omega square plus omega plus omega cube is equal to 1. Right? But omega square plus omega plus 1 is equal to 0 as we know. Hence omega square plus omega, right? So, so So, omega square plus omega is equal to minus 1. From this, omega square plus omega plus 1 is equal to 0. So, omega square plus omega is equal to minus 1. So, let's put this value over here. So, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Okay. And we put here minus 1. So, 5 minus 2 into minus 1, which is equal to 5 plus 2. So, the value is 7. And hence, it is proved. Right. Now, let's consider one more example. If omega is complex cube root of unity, show that 3 plus 3 omega plus 5 omega square minus 
to the power 6 minus 2 plus 6 omega plus 2 omega square to the power 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so let's start solving this so solution. LHS is equal to, let's write down the LHS again. So 3 plus 3 omega plus 5 omega square to the power 6 plus 2 plus 6 omega plus 2 omega square to the power 3. Now this could be written as, from these two terms, we will take out 3 common. So it is 3 into 1 plus omega plus 5 omega square to the power 6, right, minus here we will take these two terms together, take out two common, so it will be 2 into 1 plus omega square plus 6 omega cube. Now we have again 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0. So 1 plus omega could be written as minus omega square and 1 plus omega square could be written as minus omega. So this 1 plus omega will be written as minus omega square and 1 plus omega square will be written as minus omega. So we have minus 3 omega square plus 5 omega square to the power 6 minus here it will be minus 2 omega plus 6 omega cube. So that is 2 omega square to the power 6 minus 4 omega whole cube. Now 2 to the power 6 is equal to 64. Omega square to the power 6 is omega to the power 12 minus 4 omega. So it is 4 to the power 3 is again 64 into omega cube. Now omega cube is equal to 1 and also omega to the power 12. I mean omega to the power like power a number omega raised to the power a number which is multiple of 3 is 1 so both of these numbers omega to the power 12 and omega cube are 1 so we have 64 minus 64 and that is equal to 0 hence it is proved okay so this is RHS and that is proved now let us consider one more question if omega is a complex cube root of unity show that a plus b omega plus c omega square upon c plus a omega plus b omega square is equal to omega square. This is again a very uh, easy problem. LHS is equal to, let us write down the LHS. What we will do is we will multiply numerator and denominator both by omega square. Okay. So, this question. Now, out of it, I will multiply the omega square in the denominator to the uh, like remaining part of the denominator. So, I will keep, num keep numerator as it is, but in the denominator it will be c omega square plus a omega cube plus b into omega to the power 4. So, what becomes of denominator now? now omega square will be omega square, omega cube is 1, so a into omega cube is a only, and omega to the power 4, obviously, omega to the power 4 could be written as omega cube into omega, which is equal to omega. Now, as we can see, here a plus b omega plus c omega square and here also we have a plus b omega plus c omega square so these two terms are going to be cancelled and we have omega square and that is equal to RHS and hence proved. Now let us try and solve one more question now again. Find the value of 1 plus 1 upon omega. How can I find out that? So 1 plus uh, sorry omega plus 1 upon omega let us cross multiply which will be equal to omega square plus 1 upon omega. But again, 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0. So, omega square plus 1 is equal to minus omega. Let us put the value that is equal to minus omega upon omega and that is equal to minus 1. Okay. Now, consider this question. Find the value of a minus b into a minus b omega into a minus b omega square. Okay. So, obviously, there is one direct method. Right, where you can directly multiply all three brackets, right? So first multiply these two brackets, then multiply that by a minus b, and then use the various properties we know to get the answer. But obviously, uh, it is going to take some time. But here, I can suggest you a very uh, shortcut method, which which you can use for the competitive exams. Let's try to understand this method. So. Okay, this is shortcut method now. So we have a minus b into a minus b omega into a minus b omega square. So what if I take out a common from each of the brackets? Sorry, b common from each of the brackets. If I take b common from this bracket, I will get b a upon b minus one. If I take b common from this, I will get a upon b minus omega. And from third bracket, so I will get a upon b minus omega square. So um, I got b from each bracket, bracket. That's why I have b cube here. Now you already know that x minus 1 
into x minus omega into x minus omega square is equal to what x cube minus 1 why is it so i will explain it further again but okay we will first of all use this so now x minus 1 into x minus omega into x minus omega square is equal to x cube minus 1 now in this case instead of x we have a upon b okay so what is the product of these three obviously it will be a upon b whole cube minus 1 try to relate these two formulas okay now i will multiply by b cube so i will get a cube minus b cube which is our correct answer what i have done here okay try to understand now you should remember that 1 omega and omega square are cube roots of unity that means they are 1 omega and omega square they are roots of this equation x cube minus 1 is equal to 0 what do you mean by roots 1 omega and omega square are roots of x cube minus 1 that means x cube minus 1 is actually equal to i can write this x cube minus 1 as x minus 1 into x minus omega into x minus omega square is equal to 0 so obviously see this is the equation which will be satisfied by 1 and omega and omega square right so the equation which is satisfied by 1 omega and omega square all is nothing but x cube minus 1 so obviously product of these three terms is equal to x cube minus 1 okay i have used this to solve this so similarly obviously there will be uh, many shortcut methods for many different problems we will try to cover it uh, cover it up in the next videos thanks for watching